Hi there, this is Becca with Amazing Paper Grace, and today I want to share with you a little embellishment uh, that I had done on a card that was on my blog last week. This is a bigger version, um, and actually it has a little bit of dimension that you can see right there, but um, it's easy enough to do, so I thought I would show you how to do that today. Um, you're going to need uh, a round punch. I'm actually using a brad in the center and so I have a piercer also. These are easy enough to fold but I um, am very partial to using a scoring tool like this Score Buddy. Um, and the Score Buddy is new and it's very small so it's perfect for a project like this. So if you will take uh, one of your circles and you need double sided paper for, for this. Um, I use um, K and Company paper that come in these mat stacks that have a very small print and they seem to work out pretty well. So take it and you're going to score and you'll score up and down right in the center and then you'll turn that 90 degrees and you will score straight up and down again. Okay, and then you'll score right in between uh, the Y here. And let me just get that lined up. So that it looks like that. And then if you'll just flex all your folds. And what you're going to do is... On the side that has the extra line, you'll have a total of three lines. You'll press that in and squash it until you have a pie-shaped piece of paper. And you'll do that for four pieces of paper. There's just one other fold that's needed, and I just do that with my thumbnail. You're going to just flip down this lip on the top edge. And it's going to make a pie a pie shaped piece of paper that has this little lip right here. So I've already gotten um, these several of these done. So I'll show you how it goes together. It's very easy. Okay. So you'll take and you'll put glue on the back, and then you'll take and you'll seat. Following the edge of, a, of an extra of your fifth circle, you'll seat it on the edge, and you do that with all four with all four pieces. So that's two. That's three, and that's the fourth. And then I take and I put a hole right in the, the center. And I put my brad right through there, kind of loosely. And there you go. Now, these can have some dimensions, so I just kind of fluff them up so that I can get them standing away from the paper a little bit. And it's kind of a fun embellishment. Okay, and so that's what it will look like when you get done. Alright, and then here is another one I made with the same paper. I just flipped uh, which side. So, as you can see, you can have a, an awful lot of fun with this um, using your double-sided paper. So, thanks for stopping by.